Hello everyone. In this uh, video, we are going to see one program like find maximum difference in an array. So what will happen? So you will get one input. In input, you will be having one array of integer type and all integers in this, you, will, you have to find the maximum one. Okay, so here in this, if you'll see the maximum is nine. Okay, and minimum is one. So you have to find the difference. Okay, so maximum one and minimum is one. So nine minus one is eight. So the output will be eight. So this is what you have to. So let's go, let's get started. Create one class, right? Max dip. Okay. Let me write main method. Yeah. Int a, sorry, int a equal to, let me copy this. A equal to this okay so now to solve this what we'll do you know we'll take two variable we'll create int max okay and one more int min okay so what we'll do you know we will take any one any one value from this string. So let's take the first one only. Okay. So maximum is equal to a of zero. Int max is equal to a of zero is equal to a of zero. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just we are uh, taking this, uh, the first one in max also and min also. Okay. Now I'll tell you how, why we are taking that. Okay. So now let's iterate mm -hmm. this and find the maximum and minimum. Okay, so for int i equal to zero, i is less than a dot length, length i plus plus. Okay, so now here, here we will check if the values we are getting, we will be getting all one by one, right? If it is max greater than maximum, then we will store that value in this maximum. If it is less than uh, minimum, then we will store that value in this minimum. Okay. So let me tell you how to do that. If, if a of i is less than, okay, is less than minimum. If a of i is less than minimum. So minimum we have considered as four, right? So currently it is four. So it will not do anything. But if if we will go here, then it is less than two, right? Then what it, it, it will it will do? Do it will replace this minimum value with this two, okay? So whenever we find anything less than minimum, so we will put that in minimum because our intention is to find the minimum value, right? So uh, minimum is equal to A of I, okay? That's it. So in this, if we have only one line, so I'm not uh, using curly braces, okay? Then another if we will take, okay? If A of I is greater than, if A of I is greater than max, okay? Then we'll store max is equal to A of I, okay? I'll debug line by line and I'll show you, okay? So now, with this, when this for loop will complete, no, so you will be getting minimum value in this and maximum value in this. Okay, after completion of this for loop, let me print the maximum difference. Okay, max minus min. So output we should get as eight. See, we got eight, right? Correct. So let, let me go and debug like how we are doing this. If you got the logic, you can skip this video or else just be with me. Okay, so now let me remove all these things. Yeah, yeah. So let me copy this and put it in watch list and minimum value in watch list, okay? And E of I, we will always be taking, right? So this also in watch list. So currently see, See, we have maximum value as four, minimum value as four, okay? Because we have taken this one. You can take any value. There is no, nothing. You can take any, it will not impact anything. Just I have taken the first one, okay? Now let's go inside this. 
f6 now now a of i is 4 so it will check a of i is less than minimum minimum is also 4 this is also 4 and it is checking for minimum not equal to less 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 than it is checking not equal to okay that's what it will not go inside this okay f6 so now here it is checking now ai is greater than max but max is also 4 and ai is also 4 so it will not go inside this also just it will increment this i value and it will go to the next one okay so now now ai became 2 see now it is pointing to this one now it is checking if ai is less than minimum right ai is less than minimum yes obviously because ai is 2 now see here ai is 2 so it will replace it will replace the minimum minimum one okay so now the minimum value see here the one which i am highlighting it became two right earlier it was four and if it is checking whether it is greater than maximum or not ai so ai is two which is checking uh, it is greater than four not possible right so it will not go inside this if statement okay so now let's uh, so now now the ai value is one now it is one okay so now it is checking whether one is less than minimum minimum was two right right in previously when we compared so this was the minimum so now one is less than so now it will change the value of minimum okay so now what it do it did it did minimum so it changed the value of minimum as one one now again it will go here and again 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 see now here it went inside maximum because ai ai is six and maximum was four so it is checking whether ai is greater than max yes six is greater than max so now now max will become six so here max is showing four right it will execute this line then it will become six see now here see the max became four uh, six here right so likewise when it this whole loop will get executed now so maximum the value will get stored in this one and minimum value will get stored in this one. So that is what I am printing over here. F8, let me do that. Now, now see, now the maximum value is nine and the minimum value is one. So maximum minus minimum, so eight will get printed over here. F8, see, we got the output, right? Let me change the some values and let me print that, okay? Let me put zero as minimum and 500 as maximum. So output should be 500, right? Let me run this and show you. See now 500, right? Now let me put thousand here. Okay, thousand. Let's see what will be the output. So our output should be thousand. See thousand is there, right? Because thousand minus zero is minimum and maximum is thousand. So output is thousand. So that's it for this video guys. Thank you.